It is extremely flat here. Houses being built. Jamba Juice. And we have driven 14,000 miles. That is the tram. Tram light. Just looking over passes. It's the edge of the city. Big cactus. driven uh, about a minute outside of the city and uh, and it looks it looks like this it's got all this scrubby stuff and there are cactuses everywhere um, and also just to note the plural of cactus is cactuses don't say cacti the Romans never saw cactuses we don't have to decline nouns in the way that the Romans did it's an English word now and if any ancient Romans want to come along and argue with me then they can the earth is reddish brown. Cactuses come in different varieties. You get little ones, like there, and you get big cactuses, like this one. It's a little spiky one. This is like a scene from Roadrunner. Quite sharp, but they're very small, so you'd actually have to make an effort to hurt yourself unless you just rammed right into it. Phoenix is in this desert, surrounded by this kind of landscape. So I don't think very many things live in the desert, because even though we're right next to a city and I hear a few trucks, I can't hear anything else. That sounds a bit sharper. It's not sand, it's small red rocks. They also have a very exotic looking red hill. So we're in North Mesa. These people have invested in uh, lawns. Again, all the houses here are in what I was told is the Spanish style. And they're public park, just like more cactuses. They've got small golf courses. So we're in Red Mountain. That man there walking his dog was saying that the neighbourhood is very nice. He's been here 20 years. There's no crime and uh, everyone's lovely. Well, he didn't say that literally, but yeah. He also said that the houses are affordable. It's, it's very nice here, but something I've noticed is most of the nation has at least one US flag in every third or fourth property. Here, they're completely absent. I'm not sure what that means. City actually does have a lot of decent roads going through it. Um, this is a four lane highway and there are a number of them. It means they can resurface part of it without it being too disruptive. They also have a hov lane. So we're approaching downtown Tempe. They're building shiny squares of things. Oh, and there's some water. It says it's a salt river. I don't know if that's just its name. Tempe has Arizona State University. Two tiny hills in the middle of town. It seems like all the major roads have these little bike lanes on the right. Quite nice to cycle around here. So we're taking this light rail into Phoenix. Just bought two all day passes for eight dollars, seeing whether the system's any good. It's all right so far. Jess just got pulled about having jewellery duty in England. It's got an excuse to get out of it. it. Looks like this light rail is used by students. It goes right through the university in Tempe. That works well. Right, so it doesn't look that comprehensive, but it links up with the bus system. Downtown area. And it's quite shiny. They've got a grill, a vegan place, burgers statue. This looks like a fairly normal modern city. It's fairly clean. It reminds me a little bit of Minneapolis just because it looks pretty good. Um, but unlike Minneapolis, it's very warm. We're out at a time where all the office workers are having lunch. The solar powered charging station. So you just plug your phone or whatever you want to charge in here and it's powered by the sun. How has it changed since 1976? Well, I guess back then it was not really considered a big city. There was like 200,000 people. Now there's like 8 million or something like that. It's just furiously hot. Like yeah, people have to cover their heads when they're walking around. There are a lot of coverings. They use solar panels to provide shaded areas for cars. So I think this city's doing quite well. It has some very middle-class shops. It's busy and full of employed people. So there are tiny cactuses. I think they're showing off how wealthy they are by splashing water around. We're going back. Wait, 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 wait. All right, so that guy was saying that Peoria and Glendale are newer and so they're being developed. It sounds like all of it's being developed. We are here in Mesa and we're going out and it's about six o'clock and it is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, that was um, quite good. This sculpture of ducks was made by someone from Loveland, Colorado. We went there. 
they've painted where actual dinosaur tracks were found in the steps of dinosaurs. This place is so flat that the sun is just nearly touching the horizon and we can still see it. It hasn't disappeared behind a mountain or a hill or anything. It makes it quite difficult to drive on if, if you're um, driving at this time of night because the sun's directly in front of you. Uh, but we took a light route, so it just looks quite nice. What do you think of uh, Mesa? Well, Mesa is nice. Uh, we have a beautiful art center. There's an exhibit on a Chicano state of mind. It's some of the collection of Cheech Marin, Cheech and Chong. The art center, it's expanding. One of my favorite places to hang out around here. Mm. There's, um, you know, the center has its, its charms. There's a little coffee shop over here called The Lost Dutchman. It's basically across from the art center, so when you're right, right in the center of downtown, it's great. But in the summertime, it is extremely hot. <laughs> what is a hot day in, say, August? It gets up to about 115. Like, you just don't spend that much time outside. What's yeah. it like here in the winter? Some crowded. Tourists or? Snowbirds, they call them. Oh, I see. We also have Arizona State University. There is a campus too that's in Mesa for ASU. But compared to Boston? Yeah, there's a sense of art here. Theater is different. There's some strict laws. Like it's, it's difficult to explain unless you've lived here for a while. Um, I was in a car accident and I was blamed for it, even though it wasn't really my fault. And my husband was in a car accident. There's a lot of car accidents. I think because of the volume of people, the speed limits, you know, are higher here. I don't know what it is. Right. Since you've lived in more than one place in the United States, would you recommend it as a place to live? If you can handle the heat, then yeah. So what is cycling like around uh, Mesa or Phoebe? It's fairly easy to do. If you decide to jump on a bus, there's racks in the front. Two folks today, two separate people on two different bicycles stop me. I had headphones on. She stopped me next to her and she pulled my ear and said, "You need, you know, you should be, you should take those off." That's very interesting. Thank you for that. She had travelled a lot of the United States. She's originally from Boston. So um, yeah, I hope, I hope she starts following our blog because uh, maybe she can give us some more advice. This is Mesa, the suburb of Phoenix, by night. Going home. Are you residents of this recently? Yeah. Recently. What's it like? It's really different. I've only lived here for a few months, but it's not that bad. Okay. Not that bad. That is a ringing endorsement. So, um, they were from here. And, uh, yes, they were still filming. <laughs> Random people say hello on the street, but then you can't really carry on the conversation. You, you, if you say, oh, hello, how are you? Uh, then they just walk off. So. <laughs> but no, they are very friendly here. The road signs are backlit 